Mm -hmm. Welcome back, everyone. Nigella Lawson agreed to stick around because she has a recipe that she feels you need to know, especially if you ever feel a little yucky or hungover. And we all feel a little yucky sometimes. She's actually going to share her eggs in purgatory recipe. It's a dish of eggs cooked in a fiery sauce that she says can make you feel like heaven, even if you feel like H-E double hockey sticks. There you go. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so nice to have you back. Thank you. Know, but the thing is, actually, you don't have to feel bad to cook this. And even though I like it with a lot of chili, if you're cooking it for kids, just mm -hmm. take the chili out. Because basically, you're poaching eggs in tomato sauce. Oh, OK. So I got it. And I know you like to keep things simple, too. I do. Oh, okay. I like it when it sizzles. OK, okay so you've got a little Start olive back, oil. Lady. Oh, uh -huh. OK. Here we go. <laughs> a little extra virgin olive oil. No, not extra virgin ever with cooking. OK. You're wasting your money oh. if you use extra virgin. OK. Because it's very expensive, and the flavor just burns out when it gets warm. So just by regular olive just oil. Just regular virgin? Uh -huh. Just regular. Yeah, okay. If you extra virgin is for salad dressings or for putting on top. Okay. Oh, good. No, it's a waste of that. Italians don't do that. So I just have a bit of garlic and some chili flakes. Okay. Mm. That aroma's canned, already going. This is canned diced tomatoes. It's going to hiss. Tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. Cond and diced. Now, what kind of eggs do you have here? Because I get brown eggs, the cage free, but they, right. you've got colors here I've never seen. They're almost green. Yeah. They're tall. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it's grayish. Yeah, it's grayish. <laughs> I like that. Okay, uh, look no, at that. As That's long cool. As, they, as long as they're beautiful when we crack them, we don't want them that slight <laughs> color inside. Yeah. Okay. So when this bubbles, or we'll just do it without it bubbling, okay. I'm going to. So you just mix these. it up a little bit, pop them in. Okay. What you can do as many as you want. Mm -hmm. And I have, as I said, I've got teenagers, and teenage boys eat so Don't they much. eat a ton? So you can do this, and it's like takes five minutes. I'm going to go hot. Do you yeah. care if I say how old you are? No, of course I don't. I've never lied about my age It's my amazing. Life. She's 53 years old. And oh, if Tiffany and I, see. during the commercial break, we were like, what do you use on your face? I know, it's amazing. <laughs> I mean, because you sincerely and genuinely look about 10 years younger, at least than your age. For sure. Mm -hmm. I yeah. have been in makeup for four hours. It's true. <laughs> but even <laughs> makeup not, cannot not change four not hours. Hours. completely yeah. your age. It can't take, it could maybe take two years off, not 10 years well, off. Well, you know, the thing is really, it's I keep out of the sun, I drink a lot of water, mm -hmm. And I eat a certain amount of fat, which moisturizes me from within. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put some parmesan. That's beautiful. OK, oh, parmesan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we <laughs> call it parmesan cheese here. Um, yeah. um, <laughs> Will, just... will we understand each other? Well, yeah. you know that Birch and Russell said England and America were two countries divided by a common language. Yes. yes. Yeah, I like that. Okay, like so I'm you've got kind mess. of enough, that's okay, you've got enough liquid in there then mm -hmm. so that your eggs are going to be poached. So they're, yes. it's, they're kind mean, of swimming in there. I mean, I would normally put a lid on for a while, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to stop the beauty Hide of it. these being viewed on television. <laughs> yeah. Right. So it would take, it would take longer, but in, in, my, in my own kitchen, Mm -hmm. I either put a bit of foil or a, a lid semi on for about five minutes and then even what I do is this mm -hmm. you tell me when and I get look can I use this as a pointing absolutely uh, device? you can do whatever so, you yeah. want yeah. So another really simple one pasta with oh, zucchini yes. Yeah, and all of these recipes, by the way, you were nice enough to share with us, and we yeah. have them on our website, themorningblend.com. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. So thanks, Nigel. That's your zucchini pasta that you yeah. made there. That so and that's the tiramisini, which is like a cross between a tiramisu and a martini. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're talking yeah. about a $1,000 martini a little bit later, and that's this a, one, that, I think. That's, on, that's more of a budget. Maybe 1,000 calorie. 1,000 <laughs> calorie martini here. There we go. No, no actually not. I lightened it. It. You did? I'd use just egg whites rather than egg yolks okay. as well. So it's 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 ethereal. It's it's like a it's, it's like beautiful. A, if that's what angels would be eating on their head nuts. <laughs> of course they would. I like okay, it. so listen, so what you do, okay. the whites aren't cooked, so I will so I wouldn't say to everyone to eat it, but I can get into a yolk. So when you eat mm -hmm. this, dip a bit in the tomato, yeah. bit in the yolk. Ooh, that looks oh, good. Oh, that's going to make somebody feel Sorry, better even after I'm, a long I'm, night. I'm going to be selfish. And you should. It's going to be you hot. You get that. You can eat <laughs> hot stuff like that, huh? Yeah, now make her not talk. I'm not going to make her Ask talk. Ask a question right after you take I a big bite of bread. I've never had a chef on the show eat their own food. Never. I appreciate that. I like that. that. <laughs> I like that. She's like, We're oh, usually listen, the only ones eating. I, I make the ultimate sacrifice. <laughs> you have, you have a, um, a no guilt policy for yourself. And I like that mm -hmm. because a lot of women feel guilty when they indulge. No, I, yes, but the thing is, those women, and they're all my girlfriends, mm -hmm. do this seesaw of not eating, overeating. Yes. 
I, I love meals. I don't tend to eat in between meals. I don't um, pick at a salad at dinner and then go home and have a tub of ice cream. Right. You know, I, I, I eat heartily, but I mean, I'm not, I don't eat ludicrously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, I, I think I've got the sort of personality that if I say to myself, I'm not allowed to eat that, it's all I want to That's eat. That's all you think about. So I give myself permission. Yeah. If you give yourself permission, then you know you're not going to have it taken away tomorrow, so you don't need to eat too much of it today. Yeah, mm -hmm. you don't obsess about it. I yeah. like that. I love just listening to you talk. I, I know. See, I it's bet beautiful. everybody says that to Which you. It's like music. Felt the same way. <laughs> <laughs> and your kids, right? It's, it's like, like music. Mind, but I do talk a lot. Yeah. Do you drink alcohol? N not too much. Um, I, you know, sometimes on, I have a, some wine to have a bit last night, um, but normally <laughs> I do it on, you know, Fridays or the weekend, but that's partly because it is true, as you get older, you get your capacity for tolerating alcohol diminishes. Mm -hmm. And but it dries out your skin and makes you puffy too, it, doesn't also, it? Also, I like food and I feel that I'd rather get my calories from food than from liquid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do yeah. you shun carbs at all or do you embrace I, them? I don't shun them, but I do make sure that they are kept in check a bit. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't eat them at every meal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and do you always eat breakfast? I do, always. Mm -hmm. But I have a natural balance, so I might have steak and broccoli for lunch, mm -hmm. and then I might allow myself, like I did yesterday, the, uh, on the way driving to Milwaukee, I had a whoopski dog. A whoopski dog? Dog, <laughs> D-A-W-G. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, from, from Superdog. Yes, mm -hmm. and <laughs> so, so what I mean is so, but so it's balanced. Do you know it? what we love Everything about you? Balanced. You're just like us. You're deceivingly classy. You know what I mean? Like, you're a real woman and you embrace it. And we yeah. love that about you, Nigel. Oh, well, yeah. you know, you're you beauty. Will yeah. you come back again? Because we'll miss you. But do I have to go? No, no you can We're stay just here. You can be our house. <laughs> <laughs> it was so great to it's have you lovely. here. People yeah. can check out your show. You've got this great new cookbook. It was fun to have you here making eggs in purgatory. And we're doing a signing later, aren't yeah. I? Yes, and we want to make sure we mention tonight. that. How cool is it that people can meet you right here in Milwaukee in such a beautiful mm -hmm beautiful venue too. Mm -hmm. It's at the Grain Exchange at 6.15 tonight. You can meet G Nigella and get her book Nigelissima. You can call for tickets. It's 135 bucks at 414-727-6980. There are still spots left. And, and that, that includes, includes food, that includes food, food, food and a book. And food a book. And a, a book. signed book and food mm -hmm. all for that ticket price and the yeah, opportunity to meet her. I believe. Yes. I don't know if I'm, I make, my, maybe making it up. We'll just know. make it up. <laughs> I'm comfortable with and it. And all of the recipes that Nigella <laughs> shared with us today are on our website, just visit themorningblend.com. It's the eggs in purgatory, the pasta with zucchini, and her tiramisu. Is that how you say it? Tiramisu. Tiramisini. Tiramisu. Tiramisu. That's right, in a martini glass. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Nigella. Woman. Thank it's a you pleasure. So much. We really, really love having you. It's awesome. Oh, thank you very much.